Hey guys, welcome back to your weekly reading. I trust you guys had a wonderful week last week and are gearing up for this new week. As you can see, I'm outdoors today. I am in my new place. Um, I'm out in a butterfly garden that this, uh, this building has on one side of it. I may be able to show you pictures of it or at the very least run the camera a little bit. It's beautiful. Um, it's the first time I've come to see it because obviously I've had to work all week and um, I've been unpacking. I'm still not settled in, but at least I'm totally moved into the new place now. And I really like it. It's very peaceful here. Uh, fall has already set in. I wish I could have enjoyed a little bit more the tail end of the summer so I could have um, used the pool, got a little sun. But um, I will do that next year. For right now, I'll enjoy the blessings that I do have at this time. This garden is really beautiful. There's all types of exotic plants, birds, and it's geared towards bringing or attracting butterflies. So there's 23 uh, different variety of butterflies that come here and the birds just, they're all over. So you're gonna hear a lot of nature. And for a little while, I'll probably be reading from here. I just need to uh, be more comfortable, either bring myself a little chair or something where I can do the reading a little bit. Uh, different but for right now we're gonna do what I can I had already started on the other side of the building where there's a pool but some people came they started splashing around and talking at the top of their lungs so I thought you know what I'm not going to continue this and I am blessed to have moved because I came to the other end of the building and found myself in paradise so <laughs> yay for all of us because now we can hear the sounds of nature in the background so I'm going to proceed I know that um, for all of us, we're going through a series of changes this time of this year. At the end of this year, we're going to begin anew next year in a totally different place in our minds, in our hearts, perhaps physically as well, like I am doing. Um, and even though the change is scary, it's taking a risk, not knowing if you'll be able to handle it in the end. It's something that we have to experience. It's something that we need to go through for whatever reasons there are. There are channels changing. There are um, endings of cycles. We have to turn the page. We have to change the channel. We have to move on. We have to grow. Spiritually, karmically, physically, we must change the things that we have been doing up to now. Um, Saturn is in Capricorn at this time, so it is also working on our finances. It is restricting us in one way, but it is teaching us how to get better control of it, how to better organize our finances. Saturn just got out of Sagittarius, so a lot of restrictions when it comes to um, your beliefs, what you think about the world, how you see the world, what you think about other people, your religious um, upbringing, whether it was something that you should continue whether it's outdated and you should move on so there's a lot of changes that we have made spiritually karmically as well we're closing out a lot of cycles during this time of the year and for some reason it seems like either time sped up on us or all the changes that are happening we're moving on to a different um, level of understanding of existence i think this ascension has shifted us a bit from a darker place or a more mundane place or just a place where perhaps we weren't seeing things maybe the veil has dropped a little bit and we see a little bit more spiritually where we are changing in a sense and we're doing it to improve our lives for the long run, for the long term. It's not something that is just going to happen. It's fleeting and we'll have to change it. It's changes that are coming into our lives at this time or that we are making so that we can have a better experience as we move forward. I really love you guys. I have missed being able to do all my readings. Hopefully once I'm settled in, I can begin again with my monthlies. I really miss them. I miss... Uh, doing my readings, my weekly readings, my my private readings as well, you know. I really do need to pick up on that because, again, all of these changes, financially, they are stressful. So if you guys want a reading, if you guys need to ask a question, I do have several readings that I do. Check out my blog, Rises Healing, 
rt11 at gmail.com is my address. You can write to me and I will send you the link to my blog or you can check it out, Rises Blogspot, or Rises to Row Blogspot. Dot com. I think. I am like so wiped out, exhausted from the move that I'll put the link down below. So if I didn't say it right, I'm sorry. But I'm exhausted and I'm not starting over again. This is my second try. These changes that we are making, they are going to exceed our expectations and the expectations of others. So you're going to feel, once you gain your balance again, which is very difficult to do once you move and go through all the changes, that's why I'm, I'm a little bit up in the air at this time. But once I'm settled in, the things that I'm planning, the things that I'm doing, how I'm going to be moving forward is going to exceed my expectations. And I'm really happy about that because this card, I haven't really gotten out of this deck yet. So soaring into excellence. These changes that we're making, even though they're hard, we must make them because eventually we're going to exceed what we expected in all areas of our lives, not just one or two, everything. Everything is going to change. We're going to be rising above our own expectations, the expectations of others, the darkness that we have been in. Because remember the lotus grows in very dark water, dark murky water, and when it opens up, it's such a, a flower of beauty, okay, and of grace that you wonder how can that grow in such darkness and such murky waters and be so, so beautiful. And that's how we're going to be. We're going to really soar above all the things that have held us back, all the people, all the situations that we have not been able to shake up to now, we're going to do it. It's going to be shed off of us. Like we're shedding our skin and becoming someone totally new. We are still opening up cycles. We're still moving forward as we got the full card. The full card, as you know, sometimes it could seem like you're making a foolish move and you may seem like you're totally like unbalanced, but you're, you're following you're following your intuition. You're following the beat of your own drum. And you must. As you make these changes, do not allow others to change your mind or to uh, put pressure on you to change the way that you think or in the direction that you're going. Don't allow others because you do have an advantage here in the changes that you have made. There's something that will put you in a position of advantage. It's going to be difficult as there's lots of wands there. There's lots of people, different opinions. They distract you. They uh, try to change your mind. They try to, to do things to pull you down. So remember, you have your own wand where you can defend yourself against others, where you can continue to stay on track. Try to do it no matter how hard it is. Okay, You have your subconscious here that's going to try to protect you if you reach a certain point where it can become dangerous or you're um, not paying attention to your finances, which is something that's important as well. As you make changes, you have to spend some money. But you also need to be able to focus on keeping what you need in order to sustain yourself, okay? You have to keep, keep track of that. You also need to, for those of you that have your mother still on this plane, you need to pay attention to your mother, a very nurturing person. You can also become a very nurturing person and a person that's very adaptable to her surroundings or his surroundings. So be careful because sometimes we become too adaptable to our surroundings and that can somehow hurt us in the future. Be careful of others that may try to take advantage of you because you're a loving, giving person. And when you become the person that you're supposed to be, others will see that. They'll be attracted by your light and they may try to take advantage of you. And mostly they'll be females. So be careful. Be careful with other females in your life and, and try to protect yourself as much as you can from them. Because people are abusive and they do take advantage when they can. So watch out for that. We also got the sun card for this week. So even though the week's going to be very trying, you're going to still have to open your heart, keep your emotions under control like the Queen of Cups does. Through intuition, through feelings alone, you can try to handle your feelings this, this, this week, your emotions, and keep them under control. Stay focused, stay nurturing, and stay open. And you will find that certain cycles in your life are going to open up even more. You're going to get some new opportunities that'll come to you. Don't say no, try to flow with the universe as it brings you 
blessings, opportunities, new people, try to stay open, okay? There may also be some female that comes into your life to help, to help with the nurturing part. If no one is nurturing you or no one is helping you, you may find yourself with someone new that may become very loving in your life, someone that protective, someone like a mother perhaps, or focus on your mother. We also got the Six of Wands, so the Six of Wands pretty much states that you're going to be um, congratulated for the things that you have done. People are going to notice, you're going to feel very accomplished, okay, in everything that you have been undertaking in the last few months. It's going to be difficult at first to get used to it, but you will find in the end that you will feel very accomplished you know you're going to feel like yes I'm triumphant I made it but you will have to sustain this this is a hard position to sustain because other people may become jealous they may become again trying to change your thoughts or abusive so stay focused on the people around you those that are closest to you and keep moving forward okay because the universe is trying to help us all right you've got the king of wands here as well the king of wands is projects situations in your life that finally break through that finally start to move forward there could also be fire signs that come in to assist you males this could be a boss it could be giving you a different position or or a raise or just um, a congratulations you're doing a great job okay or it could just be you taking charge of your life and moving things forward as you move through this week this adventure that we are embarking in we're going to have to continue to move forward and feel it I savor the wonders of the world feel it feel every bit every blessing thank the universe for the things that it is bringing into your life because it's all gifts. It's all blessings for your hard work, okay? I am an intrepid traveler sailing forth into the universe. So you're going to embark on this journey. You've already embarked on it for some of you. Some of you are just beginning. Keep moving forward. You're moving into a new place. You're moving into a new town, to a new country. You're moving into a new job for some of you. You're just changing. You're changing your surroundings, which is always a great thing. You're starting over somewhere new. I'm sure it has its pitfalls for all of us, okay? It's not, nothing is totally great. There's always that balance, the yin, the yang, the good with the bad, but you have to always look at the good as well so that the bad doesn't seem quite as bad. You know, there's ways of looking at things where you can see it in a positive light, you know, always find the positivity in the new changes that are being made in your life that way and thankful. That way new ones come in. I don't know if you just saw that butterfly that just went through. Um, but they're, they're just all around. I'm going to try to show you some pictures of this. Uh, I don't know if I can do the interactive today. I'm just a little bit, since I'm not used to where I'm at and what I'm doing, the things are just not exactly right. So I'm not going to do an interactive. Just know that this week is going to be a little bit trying, but it's also going to make you feel very triumphant because you're going to achieve the things that you wanted to. Eventually, it'll all come to you you're going to feel very accomplished so let's take a little walk down nature